The morning dove is also called American morning dove, gray dove, rain dove, or turtle dove, and was once called Carolina pigeon or Carolina turtle dove. It is a member of the dove family, Columbidae. As one of the most common North American birds, it is famous for its easily recognizable silhouette. The morning sound of its call as well as its symbolism of peace, grief, loved ones, friendship, companionship, and other themes. Although its biggest threat is predation by cats, the population is actually increasing. Its names include American Morning Dove, Carolina Dove, Carolina Pigeon, Carolina Turtle Dove, Rain Dove, Turtle Dove, and Western Turtle Dove. The common name, American Morning Dove, distinguishes it from the morning collared dove, Streptopelia discipiens, of Africa, a distant relative. It is recognizable by its silhouette, both when perched or in flight. The coo woo 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 sound of its call is often mistaken for that of an owl. It is at risk of lead poisoning from eating left over shot in hunting fields. Morning doves are native to North America, with a large range of almost 11 million square kilometers, 4,200,000 square miles. They live in southern Canada, the southwestern U.S., the Greater Antilles, the Atlantic Archipelago of Bermuda, south-central Mexico, and Panama. They were introduced to Hawaii in 1963. The birds live in open and semi-open habitats, including urban and suburban neighborhoods, prairie, grassland, farms, and light woods. You can find them in open country, along roadsides, and perched on telephone poles. Morning doves are highly adaptable and can make their nest almost anywhere. Although their first choice is dense deciduous and coniferous trees, they also make their nests in shrubs, vines, buildings, hanging flower pots, and as a last resort, the ground. They begin nest building in March with the peak of their breeding season being April to July. Females, with the help of males, build the loose nests out of twigs, conifer needles, and grass blades, or they use the unused nests of other morning doves, other birds, or tree-dwelling animals such as squirrels. The morning dove is a medium-sized, slender and graceful bird with a length of 22.5 to 36 centimeters, 8.9 to 14.2 inches, with an average of 30.5 centimeters, 12 inches, and weight of 96 to 170 grams, 3.4 to 6.0 ounces, with an average of 128 grams, 4.5 ounces. Its wingspan is 37 to 45 centimeters, 14.6 to 17.7 inches. Its plumage is light gray-brown with pinkish-gray-brown below, with black spotting on the wide, elliptical wings. The long, tapered tail has white outer tail feathers, and black inner tail feathers. It has short, reddish-colored legs a round head and a short, dark brown-black beak. The dark eyes are surrounded by light skin, and underneath is a crescent-shaped area of dark feathers. Adult males have bright or iridescent purple-pink patches on the sides of the neck, with light pink coloring down to the breast and a bluish-gray crown. Females have more brown in general and are slightly smaller than males. Females also barely have the bright feather patches. Juvenile birds look scaly and are darker until they reach three months of age, at which point they are indistinguishable in plumage from adults. The five subspecies of morning dove look similar to each other, with slight differences in coloring, beak, and leg length. The morning dove's call is a soft, drawn out, mournful coo woo 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 sound which is easily and often mistaken for that of an owl. It is the male who utters it as a wooing call. Pair members preen each other by gently nibbling around the neck as a pair bonding ritual, 
progressing to grasping beaks and bobbing their heads up and down in unison. Morning doves can be seen panting when hot as they are unable to sweat, and so must drink large amounts of water, which they drink by suction. They sunbathe or rainbath for up to 20 minutes by lying on the ground or on a flat tree limb, leaning over, and stretching one wing while maintaining the posture, hence the name, rain dove. They also water bathe in shallow pools or bird baths and often engage in dust bathing as well. Their flight is fast and bullet straight. Outside of the breeding season, they roost communally in trees. Unlike many other species, they sleep by resting their heads between their shoulders, close to the body, rather than tucked under the shoulder feathers. To distract predators away from the nest, a parent will pretend to be injured and flap on the ground at a distance, then fly away from the predator at the last minute. Morning doves have a mainly herbivorous diet. They eat mostly a variety of grass and grain seeds, which make up 99% of their diet, and occasionally snails and insects. They often swallow grit in the form of fine gravel or sand to help with digestion later, and fly away after filling their crop. Being ground foragers, they prefer to eat what is readily visible on the ground or on plants. Morning doves have a mainly herbivorous diet. They eat mostly a variety of grass and grain seeds, which make up 99% of their diet, and occasionally snails and insects. They often swallow grit in the form of fine gravel or sand to help with digestion later, and fly away after filling their crop. Being ground foragers, they prefer to eat what is readily visible on the ground or on plants. Cats are the morning dove's biggest threat. It's also considered a game bird and is hunted in 40 states. They and especially their babies are also often preyed upon by diurnal birds of prey such as hawks and falcons along with corvids, grackles, and rat snakes. Lead poisoning from eating spent shot in hunting fields is another threat and some hunters plant their favorite seed plants to lure them to the sites they begin nest building in March with the peak of their breeding season being April to July. In some areas, it is sometimes as late as October. Morning doves are monogamous and remain with the same mate for future breeding seasons. They are prolific breeders and can have up to six broods in a season, which is necessary due to yearly mortality rates of 58% for adults and 69% for the young. Morning doves sometimes reuse their own or other species' nests. Males present nesting sites for females to choose from, after which the female builds the nest with the help of the male out of twigs, conifer needles, and grass blades in dense deciduous or coniferous trees. Females lay one to two eggs which are incubated for two weeks before hatching. The babies are called squabs and they are fed milk for three to four days, after which they also eat seeds. They begin fledging in 11 to 15 days and are still fed by their father for up to two weeks. The age of the first molt is three months, with adult molting occurring once every 14 days. At 85 days they are able to breed. If the juveniles survive their first year, they can live for four to five years in the wild. In captivity, they can live for up to 19 years.